Okay, here we're gonna do a test just to show you how much alcohol we got out out of the batch. This was the bottle of the first batch. Got our al alcometer. That's how the alcometer looks like. Starts from zero, go up to about 100. Put it down. So, we'll throw in some of the first batch. Now we can see it is about 80%. 80%. Let's see if I can zoom in. Makes it a bit difficult. There you can see it's about 80%. That's from the first bottle that's been distilled. Now we'll do a test on the second bottle, second distillation of the second. I'll have a look, I'll see this one. That's now seventy five per cent alcohol on a out of a second bottle. Uh, we'll do the third bottle. I'm trying to do the video the best as I can on my own. And it looks like 60%. 60%. On the third bottle, do the fourth bottle. There's not much alcohol in the fourth one. As the temperature rises, you start getting less alcohol. And it looks like about. Let's have a nice look. About 25%. Oh, 22%. Make it about 22% out of the fourth bottle. And that's it. 
Now I've got a carboy of about five litres. That's uh, to put in all the alcohol. Put this out of the way. That's got carbon in at the bottom. It's about 10 grams to a litre to just to purify, just to take all the nasty smells out of the alcohol. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, putting the pure alcohol in there. Let it sit for about four days after after it's been sitting there for four. Well, then uh, remove it out of the bottle. Filter it through uh, filter paper or coffee paper, and um, then it's right for diluted. Uh, with a, well, we can use spring water to dilute it and make it up to 50 or 60 percent, whatever we we want, and that's it. Then after that you can add your essence to make bourbon or whiskey or brandy or uh, rum, whatever you want to make. Cheers.